Hi, I'm Dr. Kiran Coelho, a senior consultant, minimal access surgeon, and infertility specialist at the HN Reliance Women's Wellness Center. With over 40 years of experience as an obstetrician and gynecologist, today we'll talk about ovarian cysts and answer some common questions that my patients always ask. Ovarian cysts are very common, often painless and symptomless. They are usually just a sign of ovulation. In some cases, they can point to an underlying condition and may need to be removed. Now the ovaries are part of the female reproductive system. There are two ovaries and they are located in the lower abdomen on both sides of the uterus. The ovaries produce egg as well as hormones, estrogen and progesterone. Now, what are the types of ovarian cysts? There are various ovarian cysts, such as dermoid cysts and endometriomas called chocolate cysts. However, the most common type is cysts filled with fluid formed during the menstrual cycle. These are called functional cysts. They are follicular cysts and corpus luteum cysts. Now follicular cysts are formed during the menstrual cycle and egg grows in a follicle sac. This sac is located inside the ovaries. In most cases, the follicle breaks open and releases an egg. Now if the follicle doesn't break open, the fluid inside the follicle can form a cyst on the ovary. Now, corpus luteum cysts are benign structures that appear in an ovary after the egg is released. Its job is to release hormones needed for pregnancy. However, it will break down after a few days unless a pregnancy starts. But in some cases, it may not dissolve. Instead, additional fluid develops around the cyst, resulting in a corpus luteal cyst. Now the other types of ovarian cysts that aren't formed as a part of a typical menstrual cycle include dermoid cysts. These are sac-like growths on the ovaries that contain hair, fat and other tissue. They are usually benign and not cancerous. The next are endometriomas with tissues that normally grow inside the uterus can develop outside the uterus as well and attached to the ovaries. These are called chocolate cysts because they resemble molten chocolate and they may affect people with severe endometriosis. Then the next are cyst adenomas. These are growths which develop on the outer surface of the ovaries and they may be cystic or they may contain mucinous material and some people develop a condition called polycystic ovarian syndrome. These are not really pathological cysts. They are just every month the egg which ripens does not rupture. It starts remaining inside the ovary to form multiple small unruptured cysts. And this polycystic ovarian syndrome cysts can cause the ovaries to enlarge. And if left untreated, polycystic ovaries can result in infertility and there is hirsutism, weight gain, etc. Oftentimes, ovarian cysts don't cause any symptoms. However, symptoms can appear if the cyst grows. What are the symptoms? They include an abdominal bloating or swelling, painful bowel movements, pelvic pain before or during the menstrual cycle, painful intercourse, pain in the lower back or thighs, breast tenderness, nausea and vomiting. Now sometimes the ovarian cyst can have complications like bursting of an ovarian cyst. Now either there is acute pain in the abdomen if the ovary either the cyst bursts called a ruptured cyst or if the ovary undergoes a twisting called ovarian torsion. In those cases, the symptoms are severe or sharp pelvic pain, fever, faintness or dizziness, rapid bleeding, 
and both complications however are very rare but can have serious consequences if not treated early.